Okay, let's talk about nodes versus elements. So when you're working with web pages and you're using JavaScript and you're searching through the page trying to figure out where elements are, you're using class names and IDs and the names of the tag and trying to target things so that you can delete them, update them, or find places to put new content. There are two terms that you really need to be comfortable with, nodes and elements. So I have a sample web page here. There's, uh, it's pretty standard. There's a head, there's a body, an H1 main inside the body. Inside the main we have two sections. Inside each section we've got some paragraphs. There's five in the first and four in the second. And then I've got some comments that we'll talk about a little bit later. There's a comment inside the head and a comment in between the head and the body. Now there's a parent-child relationship that I've talked about in other videos where the HTML element here has three children. The head element, this comment, and the body. Those are three nodes. This is an element node, so the head is an element node, the body is an element node, and this is a comment node. Inside the body, there's an H1 element, which is a child of the body. There is a main element. Down below, we have, we're still inside the main, so there's no other really visible or noticeable nodes, but there are actually, if you were to use JavaScript and loop through and look at all the nodes, there's a carriage return right here. There's a carriage return right here, there's a carriage return right here, down at the bottom after the main, there's another carriage return. These carriage returns are text nodes. So we have element nodes, which are the tags. There's text nodes. Some of them you don't notice because, well, they don't really jump out at you, but there was a carriage return right here. So there's a piece of text inserted right here that says, hey, in the source code, go from this line down to this line. That is a text node. This comment is another kind of node. There's a carriage return here after the head, and then a comment node, and then another element node after another carriage return. Right there, there's a carriage return. So, nodes versus elements. Nodes are all the different components that a web page is made up of. When you're talking about the document object model, you're talking about nodes. Elements are one type of node. So, in actuality, we could call this page nodes versus element nodes. And that would be a lot more accurate to say. Inside of each of these paragraphs, there's text. That block of text from the start right here where the tag ends to the beginning of the closing tag, right there, that is a text node inside of the element node. This text node is a child of the paragraph element. As you can see, I wrote in the notes here for the paragraph. Each paragraph is a child element node of the section element node. So the section is the parent of this paragraph, and this paragraph, and this paragraph, and this paragraph, and this paragraph. This highlighted piece of text is the child of this element node. So every node has a parent. Every node is allowed to have one or more children or zero children. If I were to put a new element inside here, let's say an h2 tag, there, I have created another child of the body element. So this h2 is a child element. It's a child of the body element, but it has no children. The h1 tag, this is a text node inside of the h1 element node. Parents, parent nodes, can only be elements. Comments, text nodes, elements, they can all be children, but only element nodes can be parents. So these comments down at the bottom here, these are the various element types, or sorry, node types. 
if in JavaScript you are doing something along the lines of var main equals document get element by id something like that i found the main element up here main with the id main this element is what i'm referring to here that's what's going to be my variable then i could say main dot node type this is a property that belongs to every node on the page. If you can use JavaScript to get a reference to the node, you can use this property, node type, to find out which number. Number one, if the node type is one, we're talking about an element node. If it's three, we're talking about a text node. And these are the two most common that you'll come across all the time. Number two and number four, these are ones that used to be used, but they've been deprecated in the latest version of the DOM standard. Um, number two, attribute node. Um, this is an attribute. It used to be considered an attribute node, but it never really gets used as a node. People target this by using the ID property. Up here, there's the name property, the char set property, the content property. Those are the attributes, and those are the way that they're targeted. Nobody uses node type and targets the attributes that way. So these have been deprecated. Attribute, and then something that uh, used to be used occasionally in uh, HTML files to wrap around JavaScript, or it's used in XML files. There's a C data uh, element which has been. Um, or CData node, which has been deprecated. So number one, number three, those are the most common. Number eight are the comment nodes. Number nine, the document node. The document node is the page, the contents of the entire HTML file. That is your document node. We have number 10, which is the document type node. And that is right here. That is the document type node. And then the entire page is the document element. This is the doc type. So it's actually, this is actually the first child of the document node. And then document fragment node, which we use in JavaScript when we're doing things like uh, var df equals new document fragment. When we're trying to efficiently add content to the page and not constantly update the DOM, we just want to create a whole bunch of HTML and then add it all at the same time. Document fragment's what we use, but document fragment never stays here. We had to have a type because it does exist, but it only exists temporarily as the content is placed on the page. So if I use JavaScript and a new document fragment and then appended that new document fragment and then I looped through all the nodes on the page, I would never find the document fragment because it's disposed of as soon as it's used to transfer the content onto the page. So these right here are going to be the ones that you come across um, when you're looping through the various nodes on your web page using JavaScript. And that's the difference between nodes and elements. So, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and thanks for watching.